Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos and today it is my February favourites. Yeah, it's definitely February. I had a panic then. I'm loving my new shirt from Zara. It is of course elliot -fied. Um, so if you can't see clearly they are goldfish on my shirt and obviously I got this in honour of my beloved best friend Elliot. Um, God, that makes it sound like he's dead. He's not, he's he's alive, he's healthy, he's amazing. God, it's not in memory at all. He is alive, I'm embracing his life. But I am actually loving Zara's clothes at the moment. Like I never normally buy from Zara, but I absolutely love this. And it'd be nice in the summer as well because it's nice and lightweight. So I cannot believe we're in March already. How crazy is that? Lots of plans this month, including my meetup. Ah! Can't wait to see all of you guys there. So I've actually filmed this. I think it's like the 25th of Jan today. 25th of Jan? God, I hope not. It's the 25th of Feb today. So um, yeah, next Saturday, a week today will be my meetup. But when you're watching this, my meetup will be tomorrow. Yeah, because this is out next Friday. So my meetup will be tomorrow, guys. I hope to see all of you there. I'm so excited. So to the more important part of why you guys have tuned in, this is my favorite. So first of all is a pair of sunglasses. Yes, obviously in February, I've needed sunglasses. Only when it's like super, super sunny though. But basically um, at London Fashion Week, I bumped into my blogging friend Rhiannon and um, she got these um, rose gold glasses from Noughts and Kisses um, and they are just stunning, literally. Like you can see how reflective they are. You can see my entire bedroom here. <laughs> so these are such a nice color, so reflective. Literally, I absolutely love these. I feel like a million dollars in them. Um, and the best bit is they're so cheap. Literally everything on Knots and Kisses is really affordable, really cheap. I, just, I can't believe how reflective these are. Literally, I could give you a whole flat tour in my glasses. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely loving these. Um, they're great value and they do lots on the Knots and Kisses websites. Clothing, shoes, um, hats I think they do. But I personally love their, I've got my hat from there actually, which I'm planning to wear next holiday because I didn't actually take it to Morocco with me. Um, and I can't wait to wear these glasses because they're so nice and they just look so stylish. They feel expensive as well, which is always a bonus in my books. And they're only 18 pounds, which I think is really good and they just look the part 100%. Next up is my book of the month, which you can't even see because it's so goddamn bright in here. Um, so it's because it's so dark outside, I have to like overexpose everything and then you just can't actually end up seeing anything. Over here, okay. It's because this is reflective as well. God, everything's reflecting. Okay, let's just, there. We'll leave it like that. <laughs> so this is Rebecca Campbell's latest novel, which is Light is the New Black. So this was recommended to me back in December, actually, and I did actually get it in December. It's just taken me that long to actually pick it up and read, unfortunately. Um, so my mum got me Rise Sister Rise for Christmas, which is also by Rebecca Campbell. Shamefully haven't opened that one yet, but I have started this one and it's really intriguing. It's very female empowerment. It is law of attraction. It is spiritual um, and it's just very female empowering. Um, guys can read it too though. I don't wanna say like, if you're a guy, don't read it. It is really good for guys as well, but I feel it's more, aimed at women and um it's just a really good empowering book um to really kind of like you know there's not necessarily hints or tips on there for law of attraction but it's more on how to live a spiritual life and how to make the most out of your life and how to be a successful entrepreneur and things like that so um I love it and it is just such a great book. It is very spiritual, I would say. So you need to have an open mind, I think, when you read it. But if you love spirituality like I do, then you'll absolutely love this. And it is Light is the New Black by Rebecca Campbell. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Next up is another kind of spiritual thing, kind of. I say kind of, because it is decorative as well. <laughs> so back a couple of weeks ago, Lidl did a promotion. This is so heavy, literally, I'm like, uh. Um, so Lidl did a promotion where they did salt crystal lamps for only $8.99. So I have wanted one of these for years and I don't know why I've never got one. I think 
I think I just thought 30 pound was too expensive. I think I was just like, no thank you, I'd rather not spend the money. So when I saw them for 8.99, I knew that I was on to a winner. So um, I got one for myself, got one for my friend Selena, and my dad even got one of all people. So people literally, when I went to my Lidl, it was like Black Friday, everyone was like, cause I think Lidl had promoted it so much and so many people wanted one that literally at like 10 a.m. on Sunday, especially in Dorchester, which is a really quiet town, um, yeah, there was literally like hundreds of us and we all like went in and got them and I actually say I think it was busier than Black Friday just for a salt lamp. I've taken the bulb out just because I can't actually plug it in here and show you and it's actually in my living room. I have it next to my TV. So this was £8.99. Obviously Lidl have stopped the promotion now but I have found one on Amazon which is very similar for £13. So I'll link that down below if anybody wants to get one. Um, but these are great. Like I actually love holding it. It just feels so positive and really nice. Um, it's a Himalayan pink salt um, crystal and all it is is just a giant crystal really and then you literally just like have a light in here and it just lights it up um, there are absolutely tons of benefits to crystal lamps um, if you have a look on Google like there's hundreds of pages of why they benefit and like apparently I mean this is this is my description of them um, so it removes negativity from the room and it basically purifies the air and it it does a lot of positive stuff basically um, and it, I think it emits negative ions, I think. I think it emits negative ions, which is good. It, that's good because it like neutralizes out the um, ions from like the TV and stuff. So like all the waves of stuff that comes from electronics. So they do advise to have these in your living rooms or like near where all your electronics are. So I was actually thinking of getting one for my office as well because obviously I've got a lot of electronics in there. Um, but I really like it. Ever since I've got this lamp, I've been feeling really positive. I feel really back on like track. So definitely recommend having one if you don't. And um, yeah, just have a look online about all the benefits. There's tons of benefits. Like everybody raves about these. So I'm really glad I got one and it was really affordable as well. So my next favorite of the month is some makeup. So it is the Rimmel London Match Perfection foundation it's the blue one um so famously i've been using the real london the red foundation i think it's like the 25 hour coverage it's the fullest coverage one and i did love that foundation don't get me wrong but i've been using that for a year and i kind of just wanted a change i kind of wanted something different i kind of felt that I don't know, I just felt like my skin didn't like it anymore. So I swapped to this one because so many bloggers have been recommending this one that I thought, well, they all do different things, so let's give it a try. So I've been using this for over a month now and I've used about half the bottle. Um, I've been stocking up with the 20% offer that um, Superdrug had with the NUS cards and they were two for £10 as well. So literally I got a free one of these and I've got tons, tons of these now because I love it so much and I thought, why not stock up while there's great offers on? Um, so yeah, I've been using this for a month now. It's 24 hour moisture hydration, poor blurring effect, invisible coverage. Um, it is thinner coverage than the red one. So I did find that it was thinner coverage, but I actually think it sits nicer on my skin. Um, you'll notice maybe in my videos from the last month that my skin does look quite more glowy. My spots have gone down and I just feel it actually sits nicer on my skin and it doesn't feel like I have makeup on my skin. Whereas when I wore the red one, it was heavy and you felt like you were wearing makeup. This one feels really lightweight. The coverage is really good still. Like it's still a really good coverage of spots and pigmentation and coloring and stuff like that. But you actually feel like you're wearing less makeup, which I really like. And I'm really, really impressed with this one. So I recommended it to my mum as well and she's really enjoying using it. So it's definitely one to try. And I promise it's the only foundation I put on my skin. and. It's amazing and I think it's only $7.99 which is such a bonus. So my last but certainly not least favourite is Makeup Revolution. So I've always been a big fan of Makeup Revolution. I always love their stuff. Um, and when I went to one of the bigger stores, because we don't, like our local one doesn't actually have that many products in it. So when I went to Castle Point, I was really excited to get some new Makeup Revolution stuff. So I got a cheek palette. And this was an absolute risk purchase. I, you know, I've had, I've been suffering with my brows for a while. I haven't been able to find the right brow product for a couple of months. And 
I just, I wanted something. I was like, please send me the answer to my makeup prayers. So I went in and I got the brow pomade, I think it's called, and I've got the dark brown one because I have got really dark eyebrows. So it looks like this inside um, and it's just a little, little pot and you've got a little applicator brush as well. Um, and honestly, this is the best brow product I've ever used in my life. I was recommended a different one, like Isla, I think it was. Um, I don't know whether it was Isla. So anyway, I was recommended a different brand, but I'm actually really glad I went with Makeup Revolution. This was really cheap. I think it was probably less than a fiver. It was either five pound or less, um, but don't trust my pricing judgments because I always seem to be way off the mark when I guess prices. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so worth trying. And I actually love this brush just because it's great for blending and it's great for sculpting as well. So what I do is I go a line underneath, a line on top and then blend it across in the middle to kind of like fill it in as such. Um, very highly recommend best brow product I've ever used and I think we can say my brows look very much on fleek. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching my February favourites. I hope you have enjoyed them. It's been a pleasure filming it for you guys and as always the products I've spoken about will be in the description box down below. So thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love love to see you again soon. Leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all and I love saying hi to you guys and I will see you in my my video which will be on Tuesday. Lots of love!